how to create a new custom grid head symbol family. That's the topic for today and we are going to explore how to change the size, shape and color of a grid head. Let's begin. A grid line has two parts, the line itself and the grid head symbol. When you select the grid line and go to its type properties, there is a parameter called symbol. It is showing you the family that is controlling the color, size and shape of your grid head. Currently, we are using Anno Grid Head Circle standard family. All of the rest of these properties, end segment, weight, color and pattern, they belong to the line. So for example, when I change the color of the end segment, it is only going to change the color of the line and not of the grid head itself. So in order to change and customize the grid head, we'll have to create a new family. But before we do this, let's understand about the size of our grid head. When you change the scale, for example, 1 is to 25 from 1 is to 100, you'll see the grid head becomes smaller. If I change this to 1 is to 500, for example, you'll see the grid head becomes bigger. What is the actual size of the grid head then? Currently, when I'm selecting my grid line, it's showing me that I'm using 6.5 millimeter bubble. But when I measure it, it's actually 6,500 millimeters. When I change this to 1 is to 25 and try to measure it again, it is 325. So what is the 6.5 millimeter size? This is an annotation size. It means whenever you print your drawing, regardless of the scale, when you take a scale and measure it on the paper, on the paper it's going to be 6.5 millimeters, which means regardless of the scale, 1 is to 20, 25, 100, 200, 000, whenever you print your drawing on the paper, it's going to be the size that you provided. So because it's an annotation element, when you try to go under File, New, Family and create a new family, you'll have to go under Annotations folder to find the grid head family template. Let's open that up. The two reference planes that you see, the intersection of these planes is going to be the center of your grid head. There is a dummy line available which is showing you the direction of your system grid line. Now I'm going to delete this node and the line before using. Let's go to the Create tab and choose the Line tool to draw the shape of the grid head. I'm going to choose a six-sided polygon. The center of the grid head is going to be the intersection of these two reference planes. Let's say I want to create a hexagon with six millimeter dia. So that is going to be three millimeters in radius. So this is going to be about six millimeters in total length. Now let's place the name of the grid in the middle. For a moment, let's go back to the project. Each of this grid has its own unique name. So our grid head will have to report the parameter called name. Let's go back to the family editor. So instead of choosing the text, which does not really change from grid to grid, I'm going to choose the label text. Labels are basically the parameters that you would like to report. So when I choose on label, I choose the position, and then I have to choose which parameter I would like to report. So I want to choose the name parameter and you can specify a particular sample value. It's only a sample value. The actual value is going to come from the project. I like to generally choose a character which is the widest or the tallest so that I know how much space it's going to occupy. In this case, I'm going to choose W because it's one of the widest characters in the language. I'm going to say OK. Now I see it's, the text size is quite big. So I'm going to select this label, edit the type, duplicate, I'm going to call it 2.5 millimeters. I'm going to change the text size to 2.5. You can also change the text font or make it bold, italic, underline. For the background, I'm going to choose the transparent so it does not block any of the model geometry that we may have in the project. I'm going to say OK to this. Now this text size looks pretty much OK to me. I'm going to use my arrow keys to move it in the center. Everything looks okay and I'm going to save this geometry. I'm going to call it grid head hexagon. I'm going to save it and load it into my project. Let's select one of the grid lines and go into the type properties and duplicate it. I'm going to call it custom grid. And now I'm going to choose the symbol and change it to the family that we just loaded, grid head underscore hexagon. I'm going to say OK to this. So now you can see how this changed from this kind of symbol to this one. We changed its size, made it smaller. 
We change its shape. From circle we change it to hexagon. But what about its color? Can we change it to red now? Let's go back to our family editor. For the text, it's quite simple. Let's go to the type properties and change the color to red. And there we go. What about the line? When I select the line, I have choice of choosing multiple different subcategories that I have listed here, but I do not see any red line here. So let's create a new subcategory. Let's go to manage object styles. Under the grid head, I'm going to create a new subcategory called red line. I'm going to say OK to this. Change the color. You may also choose to change the line weight or the line pattern if there is a need. I'm going to say OK to this. And I'm going to go near one of the lines, press tab and click. That way I can select the chain of lines and change the subcategory to red line. And now I have all the lines converted to red. I'm going to load it back into the project and override the existing version. Now I can see that I have a red color, smaller hexagon grid head. Let's change other grid lines also into the same. So I'm going to select one of these grid lines, 6.5 millimeter bubbles, right click and select all instances and entire project. The, the keyboard shortcut to this is SA. Now I have selected all the types of 6.5 millimeters bubble. I'm going to change that to custom grid. When I change my scale to a bigger one, you'll see that my hexagon also becomes bigger. But don't worry about it. When you're going to print it, it's going to be exactly six millimeters in length. I hope you enjoyed today's video. In the next episode, you're going to create a new family for the level head and customize its shape, color, and size. So keep watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned.